Let's go! What's going on, guys? Lockout men in the building. What's up? As you guys already know, yes, 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 I was YouTube's big sponsor of the previous company that I was with, JNR Swoogle. I have enjoyed my time with JNR Swoogle. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. JNR Swoogle. For a company, it's a good company to work for if you get the right fleet manager. Now, JNR Swoogle might not be for all drivers. It 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 just won't. This like all companies is just it it just won't be for all drivers. You just you'll get with a company and you know sometimes it just it just it just don't work out. But my time with JNR Swoogle was was great. I, I'm not going to kid you. I'm not going to kid you not. I got plenty of videos about JNR Swoogle, plenty of videos promoting JNR Swoogle, plenty of videos that talks about the company ins and outs of the company. Now, I did come to you, and I, I did not lie to you guys. I did not say that JNR Swoogle was the perfect company, which is not. It is not the perfect company. Yes, we sit a lot yes the detention pay is suspect yes we can't run tolls yes routed for for the routes you know that go through the tolls but we had to go around the tolls to avoid it and not get paid those additional miles that was run they don't like running the toll roads but when you get routed all right now, this is not a this is not a notch. This is not a thing against JNR Swoogle. I'm just saying when you get routed, they route you using the toll roads. So they'll route you for the shortest route using the toll roads, but won't allow you to use the toll roads. You see what I'm saying? So say for example, you're running from Illinois over the PA. Now what you would now what they would do they would route you maybe about 800 or so miles. Those 800 miles is included with the toll road. Now, if you go out now, since you can't run the toll roads, you got to run Illinois over the 65 then jump on 30. 30 runs parallel with the Ohio toll road. Parts of 76 we can't even run. So like say the little part of 76 coming in from Ohio, we can't run that unless we get authorized. We can run 76, but coming into P, let me see, Philadelphia, coming into Philadelphia, we got to get off, run around that little piece right there and then go into Philadelphia. Now, unless you get authorized, if you get authorized, then it's not a problem. And the only time you get authorized, if, if it's an, I'm going to use this word, imperative. Perfect example of me being stuck up in New York. Remember that video? I, you know, it's somewhere up there. Now, if I would have ran the toll roads, I would have made my appointment for that Friday. But unfortunately, I had to go around the toll roads, add an extra hour to an hour and a half, and add an additional miles to to the total to the total route and not get paid. I always told you guys I would tell you the good and the bad of the company. And I, I, I think and I believe that I have done that. So by me coming on here right quick because I just saw my man Mark's video uh, you know I, I just saw it is right here there it is things to consider about lease purchase at JNR Swoogle now I was a company driver I, I was not privy to 
the lease purchase program. I only know I only knew a little bit of it. My man Mark from Trucking Answers did a video about things to consider about JR Swoogle. And I read through some of the comments, which is hilarious by the way. Uh, the comments, you guys, you know, you guys, you guys, you guys got lots of things to say about J and R, man. Now, you know, I used to be the ambassador. Yes, I was the ambassador. And I came across a comment that mentioned me. So I thought I had to come and do a reaction video about trucking answers, things to consider about J&R Schwoogle. Now, what to consider about J&R Schwoogle? Well, look, I want to admit, there lease purchase program sucks and today let's consider some things about a 100 percent employee owned company j and r shugel all right so i get comments all the time from people that say how great leasing a truck is it's just the greatest thing ever mark i'm a millionaire in just two years well an employee owned company they're gonna pay better right we'll see leasing a truck at shugel they provide a 16 or newer truck and uh you know and the payments are between 600 and 750 dollars a week not including other expenses okay so that's the truck payment at the end of the payment they conveniently allow you to purchase the truck at fair market value so uh it's not really a purchase right you're just renting the truck for the time because you're buying at the value that anybody else could buy it at least other places will allow you to purchase the truck at the end for a dollar or something like that so so I I don't know if that is true or not, because when I started uh, a while back, I was with some people that started leasing. This probably changed uh, since then, but the lease wasn't actually lease purchase. It was just leasing the truck. Uh, that's something to really think about. You know, the payment is, uh, you know, considerably, uh really close to what other companies are but uh, you're buying it at the end for whatever its market value is let's consider your pay so this is uh they're advertising this on glassdoor and uh, linkedin and stuff you know as soon as this week so dollar 15 for up to 150 miles uh dollar five 250 uh 300 miles you're 97 cents right and at 301 miles 96 cents plus fuel on all those miles all right so what do we think about that 96 cents is that the way to become a millionaire in trucking 96 cents so let's take a look at this a little bit closer all right a little bit closer so as he said zero to 150 miles 151 to 250 251 to 300 and 300 plus miles this is a sliding scale this is not a uh, pay this is a sliding scale now most of you guys know I do not like sliding scales I, I'd rather have a base amount and just get paid for it whether the less miles that you run is the more that you're going to get paid but you're only going to get paid 150 uh, up to 150 miles at a dollar 15 meaning that that's like going down the street all right if you know 150 miles that's only two hours worth of work at a dollar 50 a mile all right which isn't which is bad when you considering if you want to try to make some money you know what i'm saying i don't like sliding scales it is 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 no point the low point of this is 96 cent a mile so basically if you're running long loads you're you're only expecting to make 96 cent a mile plus 750 dollar payment maybe it is i just want you to think about it now what do i know i don't lease a truck uh empty miles are 90 cents for all miles that are empty even the cat doesn't like it all right so look stops are fifty dollars i think this is interesting and i really do think you should think about this uh after the first stop uncollected charges 
uncollected charges, meaning they didn't collect it, you don't collect it. So you have to depend on them to go get the money rather than them paying you and them worrying about getting the money. You know, you're trying to run a business here. You know, it's not a charity. So uh, really think about that. They do that too also. It says New York City charges if collected. Okay, if they're collected. So if they don't collect it, you don't collect it. Now, do, 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 uh, do, 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 do. They do pay tolls with the receipt. But look, if you look on YouTube, there's tons of people that work there that talk about JNR that they don't like to pay toll roads. Company drivers, they are not on the toll road. You don't see them out there very often. I was a company driver. I've been a company driver for almost two years. Uh, I decided to uh, leave the company for another for another opportunity here in Ohio. And, uh, and yeah. I don't have nothing bad to say about J and R Schwugel as far as as far as giving you guys the 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 raw and the real about J and R Schwugel, right? Their lease purchase I wasn't privy to. I didn't do lease. I'm 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 not interested in doing lease because there's some there's some up and downs with leasing that I that I tend not to not to do. I feel as though that if I wanted to be an owner operator for any company, not just JNR Swoogle, I would save first. That would be my advice to you guys, to save your money. If you're coming into the game with no responsibilities or anything like that, save your money. Save about a couple of grand, save about 10 grand. Um, if you're a young cat, I mean, if you're a young cat, like I said, if you don't have no responsibilities, like I said, save your money. It's easy to save up 10 grand in about six months if you're a grind. Save your money. You know, you don't want to, you, you don't want to get into a situation that will mess you up in the long run. Well, it's look like it's more so on a sliding scale now. Now, like I said, back then when I start, uh, I was with some cats that started and they was coming in at a flat 95 cent per mile. But but on here, look like you're a top off at a uh, dollar 15 a mile. But that's if you do like like really, really short hauls. Now, is that anything per se? I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't agree with that. I do agree with Mark on the lease purchase. Uh, you guys gotta, you guys gotta figure this out for yourself. As far as, as far as if you want to come on and jump on and do this. Now, being a company driver, uh, you 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 guys is gonna be subject to doing the same thing as a company driver as if you was a lease purchase driver. Now, a lease purchase driver is supposed to have much more amenities, much more, much more stamina, much more, much more of everything. But with J and R Swoogle, I don't believe that you're going to actually get it with with them as far as leasing goes. Now the trucks, all the trucks come with uh, drive cams inside of the trucks, including the lease trucks. So if you're lease driver coming in thinking hey you know I'm a, I'm a lease purchase driver and I don't have to be subject to uh, the company yeah you are um, like I said before you know a lot of you drivers are not fans of the drive cam look at that chessboard in the background I like that so again like I said the lease purchase here at J or there at J and R Schwugel, it's it's not it's not a good deal. I mean, if you if anything, if you're interested in in lease purchase with J and R Schwugel, you definitely gonna have to run your butt off to number one, pay for the truck every month or every week, and you know to at least try to make some money. You know what I'm saying? My advice, if you ever decide to come over to J and R Schwugel. My advice is to go in there as a company driver, all right? You know, when you when you do your homework on companies, you're going to see 
and hear a lot of good things and a lot of bad things when it comes to other drivers giving their opinions on companies that they work for, in particular J and R Swoogle. You know, like I said, I was I I was the I, I was their biggest fan. You know what I'm saying? I I came in, I told you guys about it, I talked about it, I and I'm still I'm, I'm you know in many ways I'm still a fan, you know. I don't have no problems with JNR Swivel. My time there was awesome, and I kid you not. Look at that chessboard down there. Now you got a better view of the chessboard down there. Y'all see that? Right down there? Yes, I was the spokesman. Yes, I was their biggest YouTube spokesman. I will I, I will say that, like I said, I, I talked about the company so much, you know what I'm saying? But it was time for me to move on. It, it was time for me to move on. Uh, I was offered, I, I was offered a local position here in Ohio and I jumped on it. I jumped on it. So, so yeah, when you guys think or when you guys want to, uh, you know, jump and get into uh, any type of lease position at a truck, the ideal is to actually do your, do your homework. Like I said, I, I would think, me personally, I, I would say save your money. You know, save your money. Get your credit score up, and just uh, and just do the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Just do the damn thing. Don't just jump into a lease purchase program because it just sounds good. Because you jump into it, you might just end up going broke. Just consider 96 cents. Is that your ticket to freedom? <laughs>